now. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great. So basically, you know, this is a very informal right, uh, session, and uh, the main purpose is try to provide a relatively brief uh, introduction and uh, outline the structure of the class. And the main purpose is also to solicitate, for example, questions if you have any about this class. So the main mission of this class is try to provide uh, practical you know, strategies and the knowledge related to live cell imaging, essentially. How you, you know, be familiar with the microscope and uh, different modality of imaging, as well as how you are, uh, you know, handling the genes to produce, like for example, frozen proteins in living cells so that you can track not only the location of these molecules, but also the activity of these molecules, like how they are doing to each other, protein, protein interaction, and the post translational modifications, kinase activities, all these. And of course, you know, we suggested several like references, which you could be familiar with yourself, like digital imaging processing using MATLAB, you know, there's an imaging, you know, processing toolbox, be familiar because most of these class, we teach how you introduce, for example, molecular sensors into cell, and eventually collect the information, right? And then basically analyze them to get more systematic understanding about what's going on inside cell, essentially how the cell are thinking when they engage with the environment, how they are thinking when they engage with the neighbors, right? And here's the course objective. Basically, we want to teach some of these advanced quantitative fluorescence microscope techniques used for imaging, manipulation, as well as quantification of both the space and time characteristics of molecular events in living cells. And uh, there are some topics are realistic here. We're going to introduce the fundamental uh, optics, right? how the light pass through the medium, you know, uh, in the air and the reflection and the transmission. And then we are going to introduce some fundamental features on the microscope, such as confocal microscope, total internal reflection microscope, as well as super resolution methods, how you can break the traditional optical microscope limitation, right? Typically we know the limitation of the traditional microscope is about 200 nanometer. And with these super resolution methods, such as structure emulation, storm, form, now we can reach to, for example, 10, 20 nanometers, right? Which will significantly enhance the, the resolution of the images. Then we are gonna introduce some of these technologies using frozen, particular frozen proteins, such as frozen recovery after photo bleaching flap, which will allow you to analyze how fast the molecules are moving around, talking to each other. Uh, similarly, frozen lifetime imaging is, you know, using similar concepts. And I think that we also have one class or two maybe dedicated for the Foster resonance energy transfer flat technology because it's such powerful technology for you to design biosensors, they design strategies to visualize molecular interaction, protein protein interaction in living cells. Okay, so with this technology, both on the hardware and software, essentially, right? Uh, hardware we refer to like the microscope, optics, right? And software here we're referring to those frozen proteins and molecular biosensors. Now with these two integrated together, you can start to apply them into living cell and visualize them on the microscope to collect the images, okay? Now, you will easily generate tons of the megabytes of the, you know, that. And we are gonna now introduce some techniques, how you analyze information from them, like imaging acquisition, processing, segmentation, as well as how you track different subcellular features and molecular, you know, interactions, okay? Uh, we also have 
like one or two classes introducing advanced or cutting edge technologies such as using molecular tools for you to optically control the molecular functions, not only on you know understanding the molecules, but also to control cellular functions. Okay, so that you can guide them to do certain cellular functions. So those will be mostly based on lectures. And last component, I'm glad to find out that the spring could be you know, taught in person. We will have a last component, which is mostly lab component. So students will be asked to, you know, hand, uh, to have some hands-on experience, uh, experience, how to make the plasma, how to introduce plasma into the cell to produce fluorescent proteins, how to check them on the microscope to collect the movies or your own. And then after you got this data of your own, we will also you know, teach how you can do it on the, for example, MATLAB to analyze certain molecular features, okay? So these are the uh, main you know, uh, concepts and outline of the class. And uh, depend on the number of students, we are gonna organize them into small teams so that they can collaborate on uh, for example, their choosing topic and project. Uh, there will be then the final report, right? Which will be the uh, report together with the presentation, which will be mainly the grade uh, uh, based. We are going to use this presentation and final report to you know, grade the students, okay? So these are the main uh, topics. Sorry, I have a question yes. so about um so the presentation is about our experimental um project or is just uh like a theoretical or ana data analysis uh, outstanding question so the presentation will be mostly for example you have two or three you know team member working together you can choose any topic of course related to live cell imaging uh, not necessarily have to relate to the project we are working on in the course because that's gonna happen in the later part, right? But the presentation and project should start uh, much earlier, but you can pick any topic. For example, you want to study a molecule and track its uh, you know, dynamics in living cell, you know, that's a good project, right? You can work together with our team members to prepare, uh, you know, they're gonna provide specific instructions such as, you know, it's gonna be, you know, five, six page description. And, uh, you know, you can separate them into multiple sections such as significance, novelty, as well as approach, right? And so we will also nice. provide examples for you to know what kind of report we are looking for. So it's uh, not, not, not necessarily the, um, like experiment, uh, we can, also like do literature research, uh, literature yeah. research or? It's mostly literature, yeah, literature research. And it could be your own project you're working on, you know, related, for example. But have to be related to like imaging and, uh, for, you know, and cellular imaging. <clears throat> Did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So these are the main, you know, objective for the class. And we also have uh, uh, listed the topics for you know the whole syllabus. As you can see, we are going to cover the optics in the first you know section, and then we are going to introduce different modality or imaging, right? Uh, to just you know give a broad view so that you can have a general understanding on the field, like uh, flow cytometry, uh, flow sense activated cell sorting, as well as ultrasound imaging, MRI imaging. Okay. And then we are going to get into more like the cellular imaging areas, such as we are going to talk about, uh, you know, microscope, fundamental microscope concepts, right? As well as different modality of microscope, like confocal, turf. Okay. Now at this point, we are done with the, we call these hardwares, you know, the equipment essentially. And then we are going to go for the molecular tools, like biosensors, uh, agitators and uh, you know using more advanced imaging technologies such as super resolution microscope, right? And uh, flap, flip, as well as flat 
for example, to use them to design biosensors for the visualization for the molecular activity. Okay. And last couple of ones, we will also introduce not only sensors, but also actuators, how you can control the cellular function, such as optogenetics, right? And reprogramming your living cell. Okay. Now, you probably will be relatively familiar with all these, you know, practical skills and uh, technologies. And the last couple lectures will be mostly on imaging analysis. How you can, you know, basically use programmable MATLAB to quantify the images you collected, okay? Acquisition, processing, registration, and the segmentation, as well as the tracking and diffusion analysis, okay? And uh, after that, we will probably will dedicate one more class so that we have six classes all together to work on experiments. You know, experiments usually take much, much longer, right? To prepare the, you know, molecules, the genes, and introducing the cell. Yeah. And then, yeah, take images on the microscope. Uh, then collect them and eventually process them, how you can quantify how program how fast these molecules move, right? How fast the molecular activity is turn on upon you add the program for stimulation in the cell. So okay. uh, wh where shall we do the experiments? Like uh, in which lab or is that special? Yeah, so it depends on the uh, number of students, right? If it's not too many, we could do it in my lab. I have two microscopes which can be, you know, dedicated to uh, achieve this job. We also have a department, uh, you know, facility. Uh, if there are more students, probably we have to utilize department imaging facility to do that. Yeah, also, yeah, I, I because uh, I'm, my lab is, is at Uri Hall near, near Ravel College. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering uh, where's the, your uh like on how how far it is oh actually right now uh let me see uh is that right in, now uh, yeah. yeah it's in the public building i don't know whether you have been in the building of bio engineering which is uh right next to the engineering uh building near price center or yeah yeah, yeah close to price center correct okay. So it's a powerful building, 160 wall. Tentatively right now, it's dedicated for in-person teaching. But, you know, we, we know things could change, right? Uh, so we will keep checking on that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. That's uh, pretty much it for the, you know, introduction of the class. And mostly I would like to hear if you have questions, you know. Yeah, very sounds very promising, very exciting, and th those seems like cover many different techniques. And great. Yeah, I'm glad that you will like it, and you probably already are using some of these techniques, right? In your study. Um. um so we actually, uh, I think one of our lab, I, I yeah, I shared this link to. To his, his, uh, his in biology department. Mm -hmm. uh, he probably he didn't receive the email from the department, but I shared. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'll tell him uh, how this will be like. And he usually uh, he, he used the uh, confocal microscopy, and I think that may be helpful for him. For now, I uh, myself is still doing some uh, in single cell, but mo most likely. And not inside, so not interest. So it's like, um, focusing on the time, but not on the spatial distribution, something like. That. So, but uh, yeah, I think still, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm looking for like some new blood in my research, like to do something different. Yeah, and my my supervisor Sak Jun Jun, if you know him, he yeah, also. Yeah, we recommend this uh, one, so yeah. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, I'm glad to work with, particularly, you know, those with relatively, you know, 
close experience, that would be very nice. We can discuss some detailed, you know, uh, experimental, you know, uh, steps, right? Yeah, sounds good. I think so if, if I, uh, yeah, go ahead. So yeah, I, I so I'm in physics department. So if if I if there is a restriction or a re prerequisition for this course, or I just can directly mm. see that. You can check out these, you know, uh, but I assume for people like you, you are probably way beyond that already, right? Those are very low level, basic, ah, you know. Basics, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are all like the low, lower uh, levels for the undergraduate students, you know. Mm. <clears throat> Hao Chen, may great. I ask? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kelly. I was going to ask how Hao Chen found out about this open house. Oh, so I think my department, uh, um, so, so, so graduate coordinator, um, oh, yeah, coordinator. Email. yeah, yeah. She shared okay. the email. Good. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's what we had it's, hoped yeah, for. To our, I think, yeah, to to yeah, different uh, uh, great um, great of the department. Okay. Good. That's great. Um, are you? Have you heard of the interfaces program? Are you interested in? in it at all you don't have to be obviously to take this class but i didn't know if you knew about it the interfaces specialization and if you were at all interested you mean like between departments the program it it's out of the bioengineering department but it's a, a multi-scale uh, program um uh, peter maybe you could describe it um better than i could and and uh, have you had inter you've worked with interfaces students in the past right right yeah usually these are offered to i think like to be junior you know students to start uh but of course you know everyone is welcome to join and participate in the activities i think they have these research exchange and poster you know sessions maybe every year uh but because of covid you know we had some you know difficulty and stopped for the past two years, I guess. I'll send you some information on it and you can, mm -hmm. how Chen, and you can read uh, read up on it and see if it's something that you're interested in. And mm -hmm. um, uh, it is a, a, a separate specialization that you can uh, get in your degree plan. So uh, it may be something that works for you, it may not. But yeah, that, that's, that's why we're doing this class. I mean, this uh, open house. Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, I think if uh, there are no more, you know, questions, I think perhaps we can stop uh, here. Okay. But any, you know, any time if you know, Hao Chen, you have any question, you know, or Kelly, if you think I should, uh, you know, do anything else, so you can just email me and. Uh, we yeah. can set up for you know new sessions or whatever. Excellent. So this um this page um uh, this document can be where where can I find this? Um, oh, I see the the syllabus, right? Oh, uh, syllabus. Yeah. Yeah, I can you know post it. You probably if you want to register for the class, you will have access to the canvas, right? UCSD canvas. I see. Yeah. 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 yeah so the. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, yeah. this will be posted there. So every student who registered can directly have access. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. thank you so much, Peter. I appreciate it. And you both have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Bye -bye.